If you're like me, you sometimes hesitate to open a bottle of wine because you know you won't finish it in one sitting. Well, hesitate no more. There are plenty of reliable ways to save leftover wine. All you've got to do is learn the essentials for keeping wine fresh. When you're enjoying wine, think of oxygen as your friend, waking up the flavors in the glass. But when you're trying to save an open bottle of wine, oxygen, it turns out, is your enemy. Over time, that will turn that wine essentially from wine into vinegar. Master sommelier Evan Goldstein says you can keep oxygen at bay using several methods for preserving wine. Over here I have this half bottle of wine which I've not yet finished. So I'm going to take this bottle of wine, I'm going to deposit it here in the Peck system. This product from Peck Preservation Systems uses argon gas to displace oxygen. It allows you to hold on to the wine for anywhere from a few days to actually, they claim, up to about a week and a half. Another option that you have is this private preserve, which is actually my favorite choice. This very light can, literally, contains inert gases, a combination of argon and nitrogen. So what you do is actually take the straw off the side, open the can, insert the straw as such into the nozzle. So now that we have the straw inserted, we just go in and spray it a couple of times. the cork in and your wine is preserved. Another tool is from VacuVin. You actually um, put a stopper into the top of the wine, pump it on top and eliminate it. It literally creates a vacuum by, by virtue of a one-way valve, eliminating the oxygen from the wine and creating a vacuum environment. At home, I actually prefer this one, which is completely self-contained. So both the valve itself and the pump are one unit. It's more modern, it's practical, it's easier. Here you just literally insert the valve into the bottle and pump it a couple of times and voila, you're done. I keep a lot of extra half bottles around the house for exactly the purpose of what to do with leftover wine. The process here is quite simple. You take whatever leftover wine you have and you pour the remaining wine from the big bottle into the smaller bottle. And the idea here, of course, is to minimize the airspace or headspace between the wine itself, the non-porous glass, and any and outside environmental air. Take a vacuuming device, such as the one that we used before, and you're done. And that puts closure on how to save opened wine.